Hi, I'm Eric Price, Product Specialist at Atlas Copco, and today I'm going to be showing you the hardware components in the Power Focus 8. Let's get into it. You will notice that a lot of this hardware is similar to the Power Focus 6000, making it easy to transition and limit the amount of training time. New in the Power Focus 8, we have our radio module with the dual antennas at the top. This improves the connectivity range for wireless tools and enables a higher number of connected tools through four different ways of connection. On the side, we have our carrying handle for bringing controllers out to the line or swapping controllers out, things like that. We have cooling vents on the side to prevent overheating. And on the front, we have a seven inch high definition touchscreen. This is highly responsive and improved from the Power Focus 6000. Below that, we have our easy access buttons for returning to the home screen and to access the results screen. At the bottom of the door, we have our service ethernet and USB port. And then at the bottom of the controller, we also have the cable port for cable tools and the on off switch for the controller itself. On the inside of the door, this is where the IAM is located, which is the brains and the storage and is required for the operation of the controller. This new 32 gigabyte IAM has increased memory to store up to 10 times the number of results and have software, tightening data, and configurations all in one. Now looking at the inside, from left to right, we have our class three e-stop, which can be interfaced with a PLC or a line stop. We also have a, which is new in the PF8, our e-stop in and e-stop out. So this would be for when a system is connected to daisy chain the controllers together so it can be on the same circuit. Next, we have the remote start, which is the same as the Power Focus 6000. Turn it on if you would like to remote start the tool and off if you are not going to remote start the tool. We also have 24 volts in and 24 volts out, and also our digital inputs and outputs right here for discrete I.O. points that are actually wired into the controller. Below that, we have our I.O. bus for any Atlas Copco accessory. Like the 6000, there's only one connection on the controller itself, but if more accessories are needed, you would daisy chain those accessories together. Below that, we have our Anibus CC card, which is a new M40 field bus module. This is where you would install your field bus card. You remove the little plastic piece underneath, covering the module to install it. And you wanna be careful here not to damage the connector pins on the, or the connector board itself. The same six field bus types are supported as the 6000. And again, none of these are pre-installed. To the left of that, we have our PoE ports, which are new in the Power Focus 8, and that stands for Power Over Ethernet. These are for sync systems. So the sync cables for the Power Focus 6000 have been replaced by standard Ethernet cables. And then you also have to the left of that the factory Ethernet and USB port. Below that, we have the controller's placard. This will provide the controller's information such as the type, the part number, the specific serial number, the hardware revision, and where it was made. Then left of that, we have our internal breaker for the controller itself. And then lastly, at the bottom, we have the power connector where you would actually plug in the power supply. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please contact your local Atlas Copco representative. Thanks for watching.